dear farmers i said that uh, i would take farmers through what uh, we call two types of router management guide and uh, most of you requested that i send the document that you can as well download from the irac website uh, irac means uh, insect resistance action committee but uh, what, what some of the questions that we have received from farmers is uh, just to help them understand the mode of application mode of action treatment window how to alternate active ingredients during the production journey so that to ensure that they're having good control of two types of data as well as minimizing instances in, in, incidence of um, of resistances in their farms so i will take you through in a very simple way just to understand how you need to alternate the active ingredients remember we are not just alternating active ingredients but we are looking at mode of actions so what we mean by mode of action is the way a pesticide that you apply kills the pest so the pest in focus here is still absolute so when you apply a product x and you apply product y these two products if they are in two different um, groups then they will kill the pest, pest in a different way. So at the end of it, yes, you have the pest, the pest dead, but it has been killed in a different way. So by alternating these uh, active ingredients that are within different uh, mode of actions, then you get good control of tutor absolute, as well as you minimize instances of resistance in your farm. So we, we need to understand how tutor absolute behaves. Uh, this is uh, with respect to its life cycle. So as temperatures uh, increases, then the life cycle of tutor absolute shortens. So that means we'll have more generations if the temperatures are higher. But ideally, the temperature that's moving from egg, uh, egg, larvae, pupa, and adult, then it takes about 24 to 38 days. But uh, this uh, an exception is in winter areas where it will take about 60 days. So what does this mean? It means that most farmers will always see the, the instance of, uh, of tutor absolute going down during uh, cold seasons and some will attribute this maybe to the rain that maybe is prevailing in the area or others will say that maybe the temperatures have killed the tutor but that is not true. It's just that the life cycle is taking longer to, to be completed. So you will have a few uh, generations within that period. But as temperatures rises, then you start hearing farmers complain that Whoa, this tutor has become a menace. This tutor has become a menace when temperatures rise. So in your farm, you need to understand that the life cycle takes averagely uh, 30 days from egg, larvae, pupa, and adult. Also to note that a, a mature female adult will lay about 300 eggs. So when you look at the number of eggs that are being laid by this female adult, 300 eggs is not a joke. That means after every cycle, if you have uh, two females, then they are laying, you're having 600 new tutor being introduced in the system. 600 per cycle. So if you're having 10, then you're having uh, 3,000 pests being introduced into the, uh, into the system after every generation. So when you look at the cycle, then the cycle we have egg, we have larvae, and then we have pupa and then adult. So this from egg to adult will basically take about 30 days. 30 days to, to be completed. But uh, the, the days become sh uh, lower uh, up to even 24 days when temperatures are higher. So the most destructive uh, stage is the larvae stage, which has about four instances. So this stage is where you'll see most farmers will complain that I've seen tutor burrowing in the leaf, getting into the, into the fruit. Uh, and uh, one thing to note is tutor attacks all parts of this uh, uh, plant. So it can attack the shoots, it can attack the fruits, it attacks the stems. So no plant part is, uh, is uh, safe from tutor. So especially the larvae. So you need to, to understand the stage, the, the life cycle. And now we go to how you're going to alternate the pesticides. Remember that we are going to target a life cycle. So if the life cycle is taking 
averagely averagely of uh, 30 days 30 days to be completed then the rule of the thumb is not to apply a chemical within the same group that is with the same mode of action for two consecutive generations so what do i mean by a generation so so we say we have the tutor here we have already started spraying and then 30 days that's one generation because one generation is taken from egg to adult so this is one generation so from egg to adult we have one generation so here is 30 days and then after 30 days we having another generation so we will call the generations we will give them different different uh, um, uh, names so we have generation a we have generation b and then we have generation c and generation d so if you are spraying a pesticide that is uh, say in group um, group 22a or you're spraying a pesticide that is in group uh, 6 this all this pesticide you can download the um, uh, Iraq mode of action app and you can find all these uh, grouping with different active ingredients so let's say you're spraying a pesticide that is in group uh, 6 or 22a so 22a so you've sprayed pesticide that are in group 22, 22a this uh, this include uh, pesticides such as um, such as uh, we have um, uh, we, we have benocab in this group you'll have um, occasion in this group so when you're spraying this pesticide that is in this group 22a then it means that you will not spray pesticide within this group for the next 60 days so you will use a different group say group uh, group uh, 6 or group 15 for these consecutive generations so for gener generation b and c you will alternate different active ingredients with different mode of action so it means you can also spray or you can only spray active ingredients that are in this group after 60 days so you can use this 22a in group in generation d so after spraying this uh, active gas within this group then you wait for two consecutive generations before you repeat so this you will ensure that you are not creating resistance and you are getting a good control of tutor absoluta in your farm Another thing to note is they, they are also pesticides that are categorized that are under UN. That this pesticide include neem oil, so as a uh, neem oil that is having as a dirachtin indica, as a dirachtin as a dirachtin indica. So or or the the neem. So this has different mode of actions. So what we have seen farmers getting better results, or the the, the result that we have seen farmers getting is when you include this pesticide that has different mode of action and you, you, you add to this group or any group or in different uh, all the sprays then you have better control of tutor absoluta. So the best way is to understand the ARAC mode of action system, uh, application system and understand the application window system and know the groups within which the different pesticide that you're buying fall. You can always get this by having the Iraq mode of action up in your phone. Thank you so much and God bless you.